podcast mm. it's not an actual podcast it's a youtube podcast but basically every two weeks i think we're gonna film a video where we just sit and chat about random topics yes anything so if you have any suggestions any questions for me or mum or any topic suggestions then leave them in the comments of this video mm -hmm. um, and if you do have any questions we'll answer them at the beginning of um, the next episode's video we often sit and have random conversations anyway, don't we? Yeah. Whilst having a brew. So, may as well just record it. Exactly. You're just watching us chat, basically. Yeah. And we're just not looking at each other. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that this time, Georgie hasn't actually got a phone mm. in her hands. So. We're going to call this... F well, no. We're going to call this series... <laughs> Episode 1. <laughs> no. That's exciting, isn't it? Gosh, that took a long time to come to that. <laughs> no. We're going to... We're going to call this series Catch Up With The Cars because that's our last name. And we couldn't think of anything else, so... Oh, we could put, um... The catch pit. Up With The Cars. Oh, that's that's like, that's really, yeah, um, catchy. <laughs> we could put a, a picture of that thing we've got in the garden, um, the sign where it says The Cars. Yes. The road sign. We have a road sign that says The Cars. <laughs> <laughs> Long story. So in this episode, we're going to introduce ourselves. Um, obviously, you probably know who we are anyway, but we're just going to give a brief introduction and then we've got a few topics lined up. And Mum, do you want to go first? What? Who I am and where do I come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, that feels a bit weird, but yeah, I'm Hancock. <laughs> Shit. You always do this in a minute. This is my mum, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm 47, I'm Georgie's mum and I have been for 21 years. 21 years and eight months. That was a young mum. Yeah. She's put years on me, hence the grey barnet. Um, but yeah, and yeah, that's about it really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no worries. It's a 30 degree oh, God. Yeah, well, I just, uh, you know. Well, we're just introducing ourselves just so that you know some background information. Yeah, yeah. I have another child, Tommy, and I've been married to Dean for 25 years this year. It's our silver wedding anniversary this year. And we've just moved to Nettleton after having lived in our previous house for nearly 28 years. So this has come as a very welcome change. So we're very thrilled to be here. Watch um, the house tour, it's on my channel. Doing very well, actually. A lot of views on that. Link in description if you yeah. want to see a house tour. Yeah, there'll be another house tour in a few months' time once we've actually yeah. um, painted everywhere. We're still in the middle of doing stuff. So, yeah, that's an ongoing project, but we're getting there. I work as a legal assistant, but that's really not that interesting. And I've done that for many years as well, so I'm a creature of habit. So, yeah. Over to you, Paul John. Thank you. <laughs> if somebody asked me in an interview, basically, describe yourself, I would literally go blank. And that's the most easiest question that you could ever be asked. Mm, because you know you everything about yourself, yeah. don't you? Um, but I'd be like, um, well, my name is Georgie Carr, 21 years old, go to uni. Oh, I'm going to do a <laughs> master's next year. Um, I've got a YouTube channel, as we know, because we're watching on it. What else? I've got a hamster called Stanley. Mm. I sell skincare products that I make myself. Mm -hmm. Link in the description. They are very good, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. No word of a lie. They're very good. I especially like your lip gloss. Sponsored by Fresh Face. But we thought that we could talk about how I've got my new job over here, where my parents live, mm -hmm. and that's like my third proper job. And also, I like usually live in the middle of like town basically. And I've always said growing up that I want to live like in town, 
with busy places and mm -hmm. then for like the past few weeks or months I've been living here which is like in the middle of nowhere mm. well not really in the middle of nowhere but nearly yeah we've lived in the suburbs of Lincoln haven't we all your life and on a busy main road ambulances lorries cars people you name it it's whizzing past there a lot of a lot happening isn't there mm. and uh, you like that noise and bustle don't you and Hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle. Yeah, you like all that. Whereas I've always wanted to come back to the countryside because we've moved back to where I grew up. And uh, yeah, I like the peace and quiet. Thank you very much. We've got a cow farm next door and you can hear the mooing of the cows and it's all lovely. Lovely job. Oh, it wasn't on the first night. The first night when I was here, all I heard in the night, literally every five minutes was... <laughs> that wasn't me. And then... <laughs> No, literally just like it that. Was, it actually was like that. It wasn't proper boo at all, was and it? And I thought, is this what it's like every single night? Like, yeah. it was so loud. Yeah. But and it hasn't done that since. It was the bull. They put the bull in the shed for some reason. It'd obviously be naughty. So we <laughs> thought, well, in the shed, they weren't happy. They did it for a reason, I don't know why, because I don't know squat about cow farming, but yeah, he was noisy, wasn't he? Very. Jeez. That was my first night, yeah. and I thought, damn boy. I, I like it living here, it's nice, but I think because I'm young and everything, I like to like step out the front door and there's like shops and like I can just easily like nip to Lidl or a shop or something on foot mm -hmm. or there's just everything accessible, like literally where I live, there's a hospital right there, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, um, cafes and bars. Ca yeah, cafes and well. bars. Your friends are that way when they're back from uni, they're pretty near to where you are, aren't they? And like, I'll go on Uber Eats and there's like 300 restaurants that I could order from, whereas if I did it here, there'd be zero restaurants I could order from. There's plenty of takeaways in case Oh, yeah, but yeah. I mean, I'm just talking about Uber Eats. But yeah. sponsored by Uber Eats. What <laughs> <laughs> you use just eat? Oh, I use Uber Eats and Just Eat. I mainly Chester. use Uber Eats because they always email me saying 25% off. Ooh, that's, that's good. good. Yeah, that's yeah. a good deal. But got your priorities right there, then George on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but have you got more of an appreciation for being in the countryside now? What do you mean? Well, you've never sort of... I remember we'd go on walks and stuff and I'd be like, oh, oh yeah. gosh, how beautiful. Or the moon's just coming up and I'd be like, you'd be like, yeah, I'd rather look at a McDonald's now. <laughs> I do. I give up. <laughs> I think. No, I think when I was younger, um, I was just. I wasn't. I don't know. Like obviously, I was quite anxious, so mm -hmm. I just wasn't happy in general. So if I was on a walk, I just wanted to get home and just sit in my room. Okay. Like, I didn't want to be out. Oh. So I would. I just would be like, oh, whatever. Like I don't care. Whereas mm -hmm. now I'm happier, so I'm like, and I've got loads more confidence. Oh yeah. So that means that I don't know. I'm just like chill and mm -hmm. not anxious because when you're anxious or you're worried about something you don't really like like you can't get enjoyment out of things that other people would mm -hmm. so i think that's probably yeah, why. you just wanted the comfort blanket of your room around you then yeah and, oh that went quite deep as quickly didn't it yeah yeah boy yeah yeah oh i'm pleased to be a bit more confident then yeah, that's mom. good to hear yeah no you said the other day actually that you're feeling a lot more confident in yourself and you just suddenly realise you don't care what people think. And that's, that's right. Very, very healthy attitude. Yeah, because yeah, when well, I was sure Well, to a certain degree, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To a point. <laughs> no, I think the thing is, is when you see people with confidence, it's, it's because they're, they're genuinely confident because they don't necessarily care how people see them. Um, and they will act a certain way because they they don't necessarily think that they're like amazing or whatever but they just don't care that if people don't like them because at the end of the day literally like most people will probably not like you like in the world or you're going to come across people that will but it doesn't really matter what people think like it literally doesn't like when you're like 80 years old and you look back on your life like you're not really going to care like what this certain person thought um, at that specific moment so yeah that's why I've got more confidence because I literally just don't care and it's like you're so much happier when when you like that because it, it encourages you to just speak up and stuff. There's always moments in your life where you do care though. Oh yeah there's always times. I, just embarrassing moments in life like when I was in Woodwork when I was like 13 and the teacher put his hand out for me to pass my 
job that I've been doing on that I've been working on. Instead of passing the flipping bit of wood over, I pass my hand over and it just said dead loud. I don't want to hold your hand. I did care, I was mortified, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> no, God, what did I just do? <laughs> yeah. But it's a situation like that where it's extremely embarrassing and although you're embarrassed, to play it, you've got to play it off as if you are confident and say, oh God, sorry, but like, no, I don't like go, don't, don't, yeah, like, don't act embarrassed. Oh, well, I had no control over it because I just went purple and I just mm -hmm. felt like I was going to cry. <laughs> but yeah, that happened now, I totally laugh at myself. But yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. God, but yeah, you say people are confident um, with other people, but they're only confident or come across as confident and... Uh, to hide, they actually hide their insecurities. They don't make oh, yeah, a confident veneer. I was literally about to say that you can fake confidence and it, and I feel like that's how I became more confident because you see how other people act confidently and you sort of try and act like that even if deep down you feel like really anxious acting that way but then you get used to the way that people respond to that and suddenly you realise that actually that's like not bad mm -hmm. and just because you come across confident or you are confident doesn't mean that like when you go home you don't feel really insecure and um, so when I say confidence I don't mean that you think that everything's perfect about you I mean literally you don't necessarily care um, like you, you, you're you able to say what you like and not necessarily care what people think about what you're saying but that doesn't mean that you're not insecure with yourself do people walk around and think that they're com that, that they're perfect? Oh, I'm oh, sure there's loads there. of people. They just strut around thinking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm it. Yeah. Oh, never think that. <laughs> never in a million. <laughs> oh dear. It's all set. I need to start my drink now. Quick break to meet our sponsored guests. Sponsored guest, not a special one, it's sponsored. Oh, sorry, special guest. <laughs> do, do, do. Each episode we might feature somebody new. Somebody, <laughs> and this week it's Lucas. It's yeah. Lucas the Spider. Who has too many eyeballs. So if you don't know who Lucas the Spider is, research him on YouTube. He's got loads, like millions of followers. Oh, God, he did drop my tea. And also, he's on the Cartoon Network now. Oh, is he? Yeah. But yeah, you bought me him for, was it Christmas or was it my birthday? You just got fluff on your face from Lucas. Oh, Lucas, fluff or dust. Oh, can you see him in the camera there? Is he all right there? Oh, I don't think you can see him. Oh, you can always pop in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's, keep, 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 he's going to be a regular feature in the videos now. If you We've introduced him. Eyes on the proceedings. Oh, yes. Mm. My name is Lucas and I have too many eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what we were originally talking about. Oh, God. Uh, oh, going to work. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. Best thing about being in the countryside, then? Um, just going to have to dig deep for this one. <laughs> well, I am. Oh. No, I like it, but people would say it's peaceful, but I like noise. Mm. What about the nature? We're surrounded by animals. Oh, and I like to be able to go outside in this space and it's like fresh air. Mm. And, and I suppose peaceful in a way of the people. Like when I step out my flat, there's a lot of people that were shouting at each other. But when I, I come out here, there's not that. If you get that here, it'd be really weird, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. I, I like living here, but I think as a younger person, I would definitely rather live in the town. But when I'm older, maybe I'd rather live here. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I can't drive, so that's another factor. That's a big thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you haven't got your independence. Plus, we're having to run Georgie about mm -hmm. picking up on a Sunday evening. Talking of work, yeah, I mean, I, I work as a legal assistant, but I do that part time. Um, but when I'm not doing that, we um, we only uh, we only have property rentals, don't we? Mum and Dad, not me. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> you know. I wish she's due to inherit one day, but uh, unless we've sold them up and living off the spoils, cruises and holidays in the Maldives and things like that. I did that. No. No, there's nothing wrong with that being far, but, uh, but yeah, 
just bought a property which we would plan to live in but then this place here in Eppleton came along so we carried on buying the one that we originally planned to live in um, because it lent itself um, to a holiday let so much didn't it because it's got lots mm. of character to it and big Inglenook fireplace and it's located on the edge of the Lincolnshire world so <coughs> we thought we'd have a bash at some holiday letting in and I really enjoyed doing it getting the um, Airbnb listing together and taking our photos and uh, writing up the description of it I probably was a bit long-winded with that but you know the more info in there the better mm. and um, most of our bookings so far have been with Airbnb. Um, we've listed it with Sykes Cottages, Holiday Cottages, but I've got less control over things with them. As Airbnb, it's they're just there as the website basically, and then they contact me and ask me questions, and I can be and we get some really good feedback, and it's it's really good fun, and I like I take a lot of pride in it. And, um, and making it nice for the guests that are coming in. The welcome hamper. The welcome hamper, yeah. There's always some Lincolnshire plum bread in there. And nine times out of ten, there's some local ale that's made at Fiskerton. That's brewed at Fiskerton. Um, what else goes in there? I, if there's kids coming, I mean, it's a bit stereotypical, but I usually put sweets in as well, like hammer or... Um, um, yeah, like little chocolate uh, chocolate brownie bites and things like that. So you, I, this is it. I pay attention to who's coming in and I, I try to make it sort of fit bespoke to who's coming in. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's good. And I will leave a link in the description to the oh, link yeah. tree, which yes. goes to Airbnb and... And Sykes Cottages. Yes. Yeah. If you yeah. just want to check it out, like have a look at the images because it's quite a nice bungalow. Um, and... If, 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 I would say it's worth looking just for the hamper by itself. <laughs> <laughs> She's so easily pleased. <laughs> it's got so much more to offer That's what, than a damn hamper. <laughs> <laughs> there's a barbecue area. Uh, well, there's a barbecue. Yeah. Um, what people, what the past guests have been saying is they can't believe how spacious the whole property is. And um, yeah, they just. There's a lot to do in the area and it's really beautiful bungalow, really beautiful property and um, the owner's really good. You're actually happier living here, aren't you, in this house? I like this than house. the bungalow. Yeah. Well, it's only because I like a house, like the upstairs, downstairs. I also like the layout of this place and this, that it has a conservatory, which is what we're in right now. I mm. like that fact because um, I like sitting in here. I like to have a space where um i like feel like i can just chill mm. and this is the room where i feel like that like my bedroom in this place i don't feel like i can just sit and chill because i like to feel like i'm also being like social and part of the family mm -hmm. so i like to be downstairs but for some reason i don't feel like i want to sit um like in the dining room or anything i don't know why i just like it in here yeah well because you're surrounded by the garden and it's been really nice weather mm. I think as it cools off, because this is the last day of August, even though I've got my big jumper on, um, it's been a bit cold today, don't you think? Yeah, a bit nippy. Yeah, a bit nippy, a bit back endish. Oh yeah, we gotta go shopping so I can get some fine clothes. Ah, oh, yeah, Georgie suggested uh, this weekend going for a clothes shop. I can't do Just this weekend. Can't do the following weekend, so maybe a weekend after that. Would be yeah. Good. That'd be nice. I'm like, I've been clothes shopping for ages. I was, yeah, because I just want to see like what's, I literally haven't been shopping in years. It hasn't. You went through a real phase of buying jumpers like two a week, like several years ago. And then you just haven't bought anything for, yeah. for ages. I mean, so I'd rather spend my money on other things. And also I haven't had like loads of money, like my money just goes on oh, that bills. Yeah. Yeah, have you sorted out your student finance for the coming year? Um, I, I tried to, but it didn't give me the option to apply. Oh, yeah. you watching the pigeon? I was looking at the pigeon, he was just yeah. going like this. That's got to be hard work, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> imagine, it's like people at clubs. Actually, I don't know if anyone does that, but maybe there's always seen the page. You I bet squeaking. you can hear that through the whole video. My chair, every time I move that squeaking. Oh god. You think it's the chair, it's not, it's my bones. Apologies for that. Yeah. And in the upcoming episodes, we won't just talk about ourselves, we might just talk about topics of the week. Yes. Um, things that we've seen in the news, mm -hmm. um, general topics about like food or. What, feelings, favourites, and fails? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Or we could talk about our favourite things, but. 
Yeah. We could talk about anything. Pets. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, well, the other day we were talking about my bloating. Yeah, we can talk we? about bloating. We can talk at length about bloating. Things like that. Yeah, just that's it. Everybody topics. switches off. Yeah. So remember to give us some suggestions in the comments or yeah. questions that we can answer if you would like to because um, we're going to do one of these once every two weeks I think yeah I um, so depending on how it goes yeah we might just get told to shut up <laughs> don't don't say <laughs> that you're boring I always felt that I would be good at doing podcasts because you know I listen to quite a few and it's just people rattling on I think mm. I can rattle on for England <laughs> <laughs> I really can get it from an eye you know <laughs> Man, she was a talker. She was also somebody who would repeat herself quite a lot as well. And I mm -hmm. do catch myself doing that. I think, oh my god, I'll, turn I'll edit that now. out. So don't worry. If she wants repeated herself, I'll just edit it out so you Thank wouldn't you. even know. Thank you. I don't think I've repeated myself. No. Apart from the jingle at the beginning. Oh yeah, what's it? That's our jingle. Yeah. <laughs> So you're having the same tea tonight as what me and Jeff are having. You are. Yeah. You see, we Georgie do. is genuinely vegetarian. We've got hot chicken goujons tonight. Oh, because they're genuinely vegetarian. No, like generally. Chicken. Generally. <laughs> oh, they're just yeah. waiting, so yeah. Yeah, sometimes I will eat meat, but I think on the whole I do prefer meat substitutes. Mm. And also I would rather not eat meat because of the animals. Mm. But at the end of the day, Mum has already bought those goujons. Well, I can freeze them. Oh, it's a squirrel. I thought there was a cat. Um, so yeah, oh, yeah, random pigeons going past and squirrels and flies yeah. and butterflies. So if I look distracted all the time, that's probably why. We've had a deer go past before. <laughs> We've had a badger just wander casually past as oh, well yeah. in broad daylight, which I thought was extremely random. Imagine a deer though. That would actually scare oh, me. Georgie, I would no. literally poo myself. <laughs> literally. No. Last week, when all you heard was me go, did you pee yourself? No, not, oh. no, no, but, no. <laughs> all you could hear from upstairs was me go, shit, 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 yeah, shit, yeah. shit. Because <laughs> I'd come in the kitchen late at night, I was going to pick Tommy up from the pub quiz, and I came in the kitchen, put the light on. The biggest spider I have seen in a long time yeah. came running across the floor into Dean's work bag, into Tommy's overalls, which we'd casually oh, left no. on the floor. I thought, I can't leave that thing in there. So, of course, I'm picking up the bag, and there was another bag down there picking <laughs> up, and then up comes Tommy's overalls, and it was just the biggest thing ever. I kid you not, it stood that about that tall. It, it, a couple of inches tall. Oh. Bloody hell. Yeah, because it woke me up and I came downstairs like, what the heck? I don't know, it was in a glass on the floor. I didn't even see it. She I didn't just see it. walked right past it. She would have cacked herself if she'd seen it. Oh my God, do you imagine if I knocked it over? I know. Well, the thing is, I, I, by the time you came downstairs, I've gone off to go and pick up Tommy. Mm. Pitch black outside. I then come back because it's only just up the road. He could have walked. And, um, but it was quite late. He was tired. Um, there was just this apparition on the lawn. It was Georgie in like her nightwear. <laughs> like some grey lady in the middle of just coming out of the blackness on the lawn. Nearly cacked myself again. <laughs> now I get what nice. the hell is that? Oh, it's Georgie. Just what are you doing? Yeah. yeah, she thought I was asleep. <laughs> Didn't see the spider under the glass. I, I just can't believe it. Oh my God. Oh, God. Is that getting into that season for those spiders? So oh. don't leave your clothes on the floor. This is trouble with being in the countryside this time of year, lots of spiders. Because yeah. Tommy left his clothes on the floor, right? The other week, I think I spoke about it in one of my weekly vlogs. He left um, his clothes on the floor, came into work, right? So he I put his clothes on. The whole journey here, <laughs> got to work, was sat there for about five minutes, noticed that there was a spider on his arm, massive. It wouldn't have come from work where he was. I, I'm pretty sure it would have been in his clothes. And it was absolutely massive, and he threw it onto Dylan, who was sat next to us, which is my cousin. And then I didn't know what was going on, but Dylan suddenly shot right up and legged it out of the room. And I screamed <laughs> so loud, like literally so loud, and she I didn't even do. know what was going on, but I knew it was something. 
And then when I went to look, this massive spider was in the corridor just chilling and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> All the managers came running through and they were like, what's going on? <laughs> thought it would be an injury or yeah. something. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I thought that's just a spider. Yeah. So yeah. Damn, imagine that, carrying it on your body in your clothing all morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, like towels, I always shake towels just oh in case. Oh God, yeah, I've had a spider on my leg from a towel before when I was camping. Went in the shower block. I was only 17, I was really shy back then. And uh, yeah, it's getting toweled off and then suddenly a massive spider on my leg. I went, ah! <laughs> it went so quiet in the shower block. I was too timid. Now if it happened, I'll go, it's okay everyone, it's a spider. <laughs> but then I was like, Whoop. and it just was like definitely quiet for like a minute. <laughs> oh god, I was just left with this spider in the shower tray, just in the wet. Uh. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Trauma. <laughs> Shall we round up the episode one? Round it up, yeah. Um, before I run out of um, how much yeah, storage I've got. Cut off again soon, I'm sure, as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is the end of episode one. Very chatty, obviously. Um, uh, chatty slash rambly, I believe. Yeah. yeah. This is just like the introductory episode. Next yeah. week we'll talk about something completely different, but we'll... Next like week? The, or next sorry, next episode. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. Okay. Um, but yes, this is a catch up with the cars. Catch up with uh, the cars. Thank you. Sorry, that's totally in my head. <laughs> some episodes we may have some special guests, like my brother, I doubt it. Oh, oh hey, no, 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 no. no. join. Just to add, what oh, yeah. you know, it would be quite nice for us to say what our highlight of the past week has been, because I've just yes. thought of one. I was recommended to watch Clarkson's Farm on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh, dinner's Georgie. Uh, so we've been watching that, we binge watched it, and there's a dude on there called Gerald. Hello, Gerald. And he was just hilarious because, oh, bless him, you just couldn't hear what he was, you just couldn't, you could hear him, couldn't understand him. Total, oh, Joy, he was hilarious. You didn't watch it, it was flipping hilarious. <laughs> he just, he was talking, he was so happy and smiling, massive mullet. Oh, but you just didn't know what he said. Brilliant, comedy gold. <laughs> He was giving instructions to Jeremy Clarkson through a radio when there was combining and stuff like that. And he had to sort of synchronise his tracks with the combine. Yeah. And Jeremy Clarkson was just like, what is he saying? <laughs> yeah, it's comedy gold. That was my highlight. Loved it. It's really funny. Oh, she's... I don't know. I do quite like being at work, to be fair. I like going to the coffee machine and getting my mochas. <laughs> Free drinks. There we go. Yeah. Chip off the old block. Um, <laughs> I, I suppose I could just say being at work. I like being at work at what I'm doing at the minute. I enjoy packing like, up seeds. Like the people you're with as well. Yeah, yeah. Even that's though the a lot of them are leaving thing. on Friday. Yeah, you're carrying on for about another month, aren't you? I am indeed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's no specific highlight, I don't think. No. But yeah, no, that's a good one. Yeah. Highlight of the week. Ah. Thank you. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next episode, episode two, or you can just watch my normal YouTube videos, my weekly vlogs and other random videos. I'm not sure which day I'm gonna post these on, probably like a Wednesday or a Friday, but this week it all might be different, um, but we'll see. But yeah, thanks for watching. I, we'll... I guarantee she forgets to put the link to the holiday letter in. No, I'll do it. I'll do it, I'll write it down, remember. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> My name is Lucas and I have too many eyeballs. Goodbye.